Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV, your financial coach, creator and counsellor. Now this video I think I'm more of the counsellor because I really want to reaffirm to you about how bad credit card debt is. Um, if you are in credit card debt and you're still having this very blase attitude, that's got to change. And I'm explaining to you why credit card debt is so bad and there's just well, there's lots and lots of reasons, but I'm just going to give you the five top reasons as to why credit card debt is bad for you. Now, credit card debt is so easily created. You know, you just go, oh, um, a couple, you go into a couple of little shops here and there, just buy one or two little pieces, and you should just only think about, there's only a few things that my credit card bill can't be much, but then you get it in the mail and go, whoa, I owe over $1,000 in on my credit card. So easily done. You it, you take the elevator to get into credit card debt, and you take the staircase to get out of credit card debt. Um, so life will be so much easier if you just don't get into credit card debt, or you if you're in credit card debt, you make a plan to get out of credit card debt as soon as possible. But you if you keep finding finding that you're getting into credit card debt, you really don't understand how dangerous being in credit card debt is. So I'm going to explain this to you so that you will never get into credit card debt again or if you do you know how to get out of it really quickly now when you're in credit card debt it has a very negative um, uh, uh, effect on your um, attitude and approach towards money most people I find from personal experience when they're in credit card debt they have this very self-destructive attitude where they think oh you know, what's another thousand dollars on my credit card I already owe five thousand dollars I mean so what it's just gonna go up by you know you know 15, 20%, so what, no big deal. Well, I guarantee if you didn't have any debt at all, um, you wouldn't have that type of attitude. You wouldn't just go and put $1,000 on your credit card unless you actually needed to genuinely buy something that, that you needed and wanted. So um, by and having that type of attitude, that self-destructive attitude is really bad and you are not going to be getting out of credit card debt anytime soon if you keep, keep the, with that attitude. So you really, um, being in debt is... It, it actually if it has a toxic effect on your um, on your attitude towards money and because of that it's going to actually create lots of blocks in create in attracting um, more wealth and I guess abundance into your life with an attitude like that and um, if you're following that approach you're definitely not buying things that you need value and appreciate and love which is what you know my channel is all about you know I'm not someone that actually recommends you don't shop at all that's not my approach it's all about having a good balance in life and buying what you love so if you have that this um, self-defeatist attitude um, it's really really toxic to your situation and also to your um, emotional mental well-being so that's my first reason why being in credit card debt is bad secondly the interest um, I know there are a lot of interest-free credit cards out there, but they're only interest-free for a limited period of time, and then they revert to the normal standard credit card interest, which is on average between 18 and 22%. So if you are in credit card debt and you are um, you haven't paid it off and you don't pay it off in full each month like I recommend, you're actually basically paying an extra 20% for everything that you buy. So say you buy a jumper for $200, you're actually paying $240 for that jumper because you're paying um, interest um, of 22, well, up, say 20% per year, which is insane. Why would you spend, pay an extra 20% of everything that you buy? That just does not make sense. So you're making life even more expensive for yourself and it's just not necessary. Okay. The third thing is um, it stops you from, um, when you're in credit card debt, it stops you from achieving your financial goals. It is a massive handicap. Um, in uh, in sort of setting about the journey of achieving your financial goals. So many times when I have a new client in front of me and I listen to all the things they want to achieve, like buying their first home, you know, buying um, their first investment property or putting more money into their superannuation accounts so they can have a comfortable retirement, you know, which is all great goals to have and I highly recommend, encourage them and recommend you setting those types of goals for yourself. But when I discover that the client has a bit of credit card debt, we immediately have to pause all action on um, achieving those goals until the credit card debt is fixed. And it's a really frustrating feeling because we're so motivated and enthusiastic about, about having these new financial goals, but we have to hold off on using that energy and direct it towards, the, you know, 
cleaning up all the mess from the credit card debt as a priority. So if you're not in any credit card debt, that's great. You can go straight towards achieving your financial goals. But if you are in, in credit card debt, you've got to sort that credit card debt out, not just now, but for good and not get back in it so that you can actively work towards those financial goals, which are going to make you feel really good um, about yourself in achieving those goals. Now, the final point about why credit card debt is so bad is the stress. Um, it called finance debt and um, stress over money it causes so many fights in in relationships between boyfriends girlfriends my parents um, you know anyone it's, it's one of the biggest causes of divorces or, or relationship breakdowns so um, being in debt it, you know is adding unnecessary stress in onto your relationship it's also not good for your own self-worth a lot of people um, there's a lot of clients when I sit and talk to them about their credit card debt you know, I that I realize they feel really they're really ashamed, they're really embarrassed, they have a lot of guilt, a lot of remorse. Um, uh, you know, there's a lot of really um, toxic and uncomfortable feelings that you don't don't have to have. And um, you, the only way to get over those feelings is to take the right action into getting out of debt, because then you'll start feeling positive about yourself. You'll realize the strength and power that exists within yourself. You'll feel good. You know that you're um, taking. You know, you're stepping up to the plate and you're being responsible by getting yourself out of debt. And of course, being in, in debt and having credit card debt is not all those all that stress is not going to be good for your health. You know, it's going to really plague on you know just simple things like you know having colds and flus, um, to having you know being really sick and run down. Um, you know, money is just um, is just energy. So if you have if you've been borrowing um, money, which means borrowing energy, you know you're you're not going to be the powerhouse that you need to be to achieve you know, not only your financial goals, but your personal goals in life. So if you're in credit card debt, um, please make a plan to get out of it and make it a plan to get out of it good. And I, uh, for good. And I promise you, you're going to feel so much better about yourself and you're going to trigger a really powerful shift within yourself that will enable you not to just get out of the debt, but actually start creating savings and even more importantly, start investing for your financial future, which is, um, which is everyone is capable of doing for themselves. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you found it helpful. Um, as I, I love hearing from you, so please keep me posted on how you're going with your own debt reduction or your own financial goals and what you're working to achieve. Uh, um, I, it's, I, it's so exciting hearing from you and sharing um, your information with me because it means that I'm, I'm able to help you and, and to keep you inspired as well. So thank you very much. Um, I'll catch you on my next video soon. Ciao for now.